Okay, Bitcoin for the past couple of hours has been slowly but surely dropping towards downside towards a very important price target at 21,000 US dollars area. But in this video, we are going to talk about why in the upcoming days we can expect very high volatility because some very important data is going to be released. And on top of that, I need to share with you when we are going to increase the probabilities of Bitcoin actually moving even higher towards the upside and continuing to towards 25,000 US dollars area. But first of all, what you're going to see on the one hour time frame, I think we can all agree, Bitcoin is very slowly but surely moving towards downside. And yes, we are also forming bearish market structure with our lower highs and of course also lower lows. Because of that, we can very nicely, very simply connect our lower lows with a diagonal level of support, connecting our also previous highs right here. And it looks like that currently Bitcoin is very, very nicely respecting a descending channel. Now, this is the thing right here. A descending channel is the most bullish form of consolidation, and it does have the highest probability of breaking towards the upside, especially if the volume is going lower and lower and lower. And going right now with the volume on the 30 minute, maybe even on the one hour time frame, it really looks like overall speaking, volume right here is going lower and lower. We are seeing a descending channel with the highest probability of breaking towards the upside. And cherry on top, I would even go right here with the RSI indicator on the one hour time frame, lower lows on Bitcoin, higher lows on the RSI indicator, and the exact same thing on the two hour time frame. So it really looks like bullish divergence has been forming on multiple time frames on the RSI indicator. The price right here is seeing bullish consolidation. So short term wise, I would really like to see Bitcoin to see another push towards the upside. Later in the video, I am going to share with you where potentially we could be looking for a brand new long, maybe even a short or a sell position on Bitcoin. But nevertheless, right now we need to talk about very important data that is going to be released on 14th of February on Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. EST time. Now, we are going to see CPI data released and it really looks like that month on month US core CPI is expected to deliver a 0.4% increase up from 0.3 in December. Likewise, headline inflation is also expected to come in at 0.5% increase from the previous month reversing from the 0.1 contraction in December. So you can clearly see on Tuesday in the upcoming days, very high volatility on Bitcoin is expected because of the data that is going to be released right here. And because of that, I want you to be prepared. Maybe if Bitcoin is actually going to see an insane pump towards the update right here, or if we are literally going to see an insane collapse because of that, we need to talk about a five wave structure we can identify on the four hour time frame. Now, what we can actually do? couple of days ago when Bitcoin got a rejection at 24,200 US dollars, we can actually say we finished our first impulsive Elliott wave. We got a push towards the upset for our second one. And currently, because of a super high volume we got the other day, because of course, if we right now go with our volume indicator, it looks like super high volume increase on a push towards downside right here. I would say it looks like we are right now finishing our third Elliott wave, also because of our descending channel right here and a bullish divergence we are forming on the RSI indicator. Potentially in the upcoming hours, expecting the fourth one right here before more downside, in my opinion, is a little bit more likely. That being said, we are looking right now for Bitcoin to finish our five-way structure at approximately 21,000 US dollars because the area of 21,000 US dollars is a very important support level. Now, why is 21K a super critical support level on Bitcoin? Of course, the other day we were talking about our daily levels, our monthly pivot points, but nevertheless, let's just look right now at the naked chart right here using the line mode and what we are going to see on the daily time frame. Almost every single time Bitcoin actually got a push towards 21,000 US dollars, we got some kind of a reaction. So what you're going to see, we got a retest of 21,000 US dollars, we got a push towards downside. So it was our level of resistance, our level of support. We got some kind of a deviation right here, another retest, another resistance. And of course, already a couple of weeks ago right here, when Bitcoin was pumping towards the upside, we got a reaction at 21,000 US dollars area. Because of that, if we are going to right now go towards downside on the Bitcoin price in the upcoming hours, in the upcoming days, 21,000 US dollars on Bitcoin is a super important level we should definitely pay attention to and where potentially Bitcoin could actually finish its five wave structure. Now, the reality is it really depends what the CPI data is actually going to give us on 14th of February. And I would actually say like that, if potentially Bitcoin is going to see a push towards the upside from the 21,000 US dollars area and the volume on a push towards the upside is going to be very, very weak, we can 
actually be talking about our bearish Elite Wave count I already shared with you a couple of days ago. And that is going to mean it looks like potentially we topped out at 24,200 US dollars and we are going to impulsively move towards downside. Now, on the other hand, if Bitcoin is going to actually bounce at 21,000 US dollars area with a high volume, in my opinion, we are going to have a very high probability that we are actually going to head higher, even above 24,200 US dollars. And we are then simply paying attention to our five wave structure towards the upside. Now, of course, if you would still like to go with a potential long or a buy position in the upcoming days, there is still available an insane bonus down below with the link in the description. Click the link right here and make sure after initial deposit, you secure up to 30,000 US dollars for free in trading bonus because majority of people right now are actually trading with the bonus right here. And of course, potentially waiting for some kind of a long or a buying position that is going to be offered to us on Bitcoin, maybe even in the upcoming days. Now, also another thing we need to mention right here, what if Bitcoin is not going to respect our 21,000 US dollars area and we are simply going to drop even further towards downside below this level? Now, this is right now the thing. If you go, for example, with the Fibonacci retracement, we are going to go from our swing low back to our swing high. Now, it looks like that our 0.32 Fibonacci retracement level is going to come up almost perfectly at this specific zone of support. So what does it mean? If Bitcoin is going to start breaking 21,000 US dollars level, that also is going to mean we are going to lose our 0.32 Fibonacci retracement level. So losing this level right here, in my opinion, is going to increase the probabilities that we are actually moving in a bearish configuration that said we finished our fourth Elliott wave and we are going to impulsively move towards downside. So in the upcoming days, it really depends right now what Bitcoin is going to do. Is 21,000 US dollars area even going to hold? What is going to be the CPI data right here? And of course, also, are we going to get a bounce towards the upside with high volume or maybe even with a low volume before potentially going even higher towards the upside above 24,200 or of course, before collapsing much lower towards downside? Now, the reality is going, for example, with our dollar currency index chart, we are, in my opinion, looking locally quite bullish. We finished our five wave structure right here. We also tapped our very important support area at approximately 102 points right here and at the moment we are seeing quite strong reaction towards the upside so overall speaking dollar currency index right here i would say this look quite okay also because we were able to change the market structure on a lower term time frame so we know if we do have inverse correlation with the dollar currency index and of course also with our bitcoin price if dollar currency goes up of course we do have then a higher probability that bitcoin simply is actually going to continue its way towards downside now another thing that is actually very very interesting are going to be our exponential moving averages on the daily time frame. Now, remember the other day I was mentioning that potentially we could be expecting a cross on our exponential moving averages right here. And of course, historically speaking, when we got the cross right here, Bitcoin impulsively moved towards the upset. Now, it really looks like we came very, very close with our exponential moving averages. But however, because of a push towards downside, right now we are pretty much going sideways with both of them right here. If we do continue our way even lower right here, most probably we are not going to see a cross, which in my opinion is going to mean it looks like that the average trend on a higher term time frame was not changed towards the upside, which is another bad sign for the Bitcoin price. Another not really the most bullish indication is going to be on our OBV indicator on the daily time frame right here, because currently we are actually breaking through the previous low. Now, OBV indicator could actually be an early indication what is going to happen with Bitcoin. And currently we are breaking through the low right here on the OBV indicator, which could mean, of course, Bitcoin is also going to lose our previous low in the upcoming days. However, this is only an indicator right here, and I am not blindly trading right now off of our OBV indicator. So Bitcoin currently is moving to Towards downside. Short term wise, yes, I would like to see some kind of a push towards the upside before a continuation back down towards the 21,000 US dollars area right here. Now, some indicators, for example, cluster algorithm and of course also our money flow indicator, are right now being oversold right here. On the one hour time frame, money flow is even forming a bullish divergence right here. So, short term wise, I would really like to see a push towards the upside and then some kind of a lower high, maybe even take out our previous highs right here for the liquidity purposes and then go even lower towards downside towards 21,000 US dollars. Now, in terms of a short position, I would say like that. If we do see right now a push towards the upside with lower volume, potentially trade the swing failure pattern above our previous high, short term wise looking for some kind of a short or a sell position on Bitcoin. And of course, if we then actually do see a push towards downside, 21,000 US dollars area, very nice support level, where potentially we could be looking for some kind of a long or a buying position right here on the Bitcoin price. And thank you very much if you right now actually smash the like button right here. Of course, if you want like majority of people, make sure you take advantage of the insane free bonus down below with the link in the description.
description. Peace out.